just thought I'd stop here and get a few pictures of where we used to live at one time. That wasn't there, Coronation Curry House. The pub was, the Avon Packet. We're just going to go and walk across Vauxhall Bridge. says we are just here Greenway Bush Lane is behind us and I used to live just there I don't know if this bridge was supposed to swing. It looks like it is. Many years ago, there's definitely a join here, a curved join. But with the pipes that are attached to it, there's no way it would swing nowadays. But it would have been so that when the tall ships were going up river, we could have swung it out of the way to make way for the masts. Tight about halfway out, so you can see half the mud. Just on that side of the river, there's a footpath goes all the way along that we used to call the chocolate blocks. If it's possible, I'll take a picture of it, but I think it's shut because part of it was giving way, so we're having to rebuild it all. The red brick buildings in the background there are the tobacco bombs, or they used to be the tobacco bombs, where the Well, the tobacco would have been stored while they decided what excise was due to be paid on it. It would be the same for anything that had to be brought into the country that needed to be taxed. On the hill there, that pointy bit just there, is Cabo Tower. I suppose I could just zoom in on that. All right, yeah, that's Cabo Tower. there. I think that's St Mary Redcliffe. I'll have to get my bearings right, but I think it might be. Just behind all these houses is the docks, or the floating harbour as they call it. Not because the harbour floats, but because ships could float in the harbour. When the tide went out, they wouldn't get stuck. Right, chocolate block. I'll zoom in and you can see why we call it the chocolate block footpath.
because it looks like chocolate blocks. And as I say, they've shut it off, so we can't go down there. I used to walk to work at one time, um, so you can't actually see where we lived, but the other side of the trees there, one of the side roads there, so I walk along across here. Wiggle my way through the docks till you got to the side of the docks, and I walk along the docks and into the centre of Bristol. There is another bridge further up, which would be a second choice of crossing. Depends what the weather was like. I wonder if the tides are coming in or going out. Because this is a tidal river, in other words, when the tide goes out it virtually empties. And when the tide's in, it's up high. In fact, it's not a river. It's called the New Cut. And it was actually dug by Napoleonic prisoners, apparently. And that was to channel the river away from going through the docks. So they could then block the docks off with lock gates and keep the water in there. Back to what I was saying about being a floating harbour. So the ships would stay floating, even when the tide went out. But that meant they had to divert the river. So this is the diversion. I've no idea how long ago Napoleonic Wars were. You'd have to Google that yourself. So this is the cut. That is Cumberland Road on the left, and the other side is Coronation Road. Quite often get uh, local photographs, postcards featuring the houses up there. I can't remember what the name of the road is up there, but because they're all painted pretty colours, then they're one of those things that you get on postcards. I'll just zoom in a little bit. So they're all pretty colours, and then there's another one behind those trees that's also pretty colours. And then the stuff in front is modern, those sort of, what's that, backward C-shaped, or J-shaped, which they decided to match the colours as best they can, so it all is in keeping, even though that's much more modern. That's Hotwell's Road over that side, the other side of the docks. All right, that's, that'll probably do. Um, well, I suppose I, I could just walk down there and take a picture in this direction so you can see the bridge from a distance. Before I go down, just a quick look at the work they're doing. Got to shore up the road, otherwise the road will disappear into the river. Right, now we can see the bridge. So it's never in my time, but clearly it was designed to spin on that turret there. Obviously it can't with the pipes going across, so that's a later addition. 
at some time in the past that was supposed to spin so that boats with tall masts could go up river. So one of the uh, problems here is they were going to make use of this old railway for um, some sort of, uh, what do you call it? I was going to say tramway, but some sort of uh, feature for the town, city. Urban transport was the word I was trying to think of. Yeah, they were going to use the railway for some urban transport, and then, uh, unfortunately, it collapsed. So they couldn't. I think they were actually going to... No, never mind, I'm guessing there. Because I'd actually moved away years ago, back in the 80s, we lived here. Or over there, to be exact. I've got to go back across the road to get up there. I think. Yeah, there's no way down on this side of the road. Metro bus. Tickets. Mm. Over this side, I remember it being a, a sand yard where they'd bring the sand in on the boats and unload it. I'm just thinking, that gateway just there, gateway doorway, would have been accessed down to the equipment below. We're, on, we're standing on top of that turret thing. So that would have been the way down to operate the machinery at one time. Right, just capture the graffiti. That'll do. <laughs> I'm sure that was somebody's garage last time I was living here. Looks like they've developed it a bit. All around here used to be the tobacco um, factory, Wills's. But that's all gone. There's still some of the good old red brick buildings there, but they've all been converted to other things. That'll do, I think. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, and check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.